The Steelers gave Mike Tomlin a one-year contract extension. And I'm glad that they did that. He deserved that extension. He had two years left on his contract, I believe, and it gave him that extra year. I'm happy about that. Because there were rumors swirling around that he was on the hot seat. So by the Steelers giving him that one year extension, it just squashes all those rumors. He deserves to be the Steelers head coach. He should not be fired. I know last season things didn't go well. They finished with a 9-6 and 1 record and they missed the playoffs. And I know last season was bad, but that's not the norm. Usually, the Steelers make the playoffs with Mike Tomlin. Usually they play very well. I know the defense is, has been shaky, but they did draft Devin Bush, and they're, they're gonna get better. They will, they'll improve. And overall, he has a great record. His record is 125 wins, 66 losses and one tie. So that's a winning percentage of about 65%. That's pretty good. To be an NFL head coach and win 65% of your games, that is highly impressive. And also, he has a Super Bowl ring. And he's the youngest NFL coach to win the Super Bowl. So he's got that under his resume. He's a great coach. I believe he's a great leader. I know things went south with Le'Veon Bell and Antonio Brown, but both players are no longer on the team. So that should make the locker room better. That should make the team better because those two players cause a lot of distractions for the team. Now I'm not gonna put all the blame on Antonio Brown and Le'Veon Bell. I believe that Ben Roethlisberger played a role in it, calling players out publicly, which I don't think is a good idea. So Ben also contributed to it. I think the Steelers organization and Mike Brown also allowed AB, they gave him a little bit too much freedom. And that hurt them. You know, we need the Facebook Live post and we're doing things of that nature and, you know, throwing tantrums. They should have suspended him or sat him out for a quarter or two just to let him know that, hey, this is not how things go. But they didn't do that. They let AB, Antonio Brown, pretty much act whatever way he wanted to without being punished and it hurt them in the end. But he's no longer there. Le'Veon Bell is no longer there. I know he wanted a long-term deal with the Steelers. They didn't want to give it to him and he sat out the whole season. And that also caused disruption. So these are the things that Mike Tomlin has had to deal with. And despite how bad things went, he still had a winning record last season. I mean, nine, six, and one. It's pretty good. I'm not saying it's perfect, and I know the Steelers should have had a better record than that. No doubt about it. But I think that they've learned from what has went wrong last season, and they're taking steps to correct it. I believe that Juju Smith-Schuster is going to emerge as that great number one for them, and I believe in James Conner. He is the real deal. He played very well last season, and he's going to keep doing great things for that team. And then with Mike Tomlin there, wow. He's a great motivator. He knows how to speak to players. And I believe that he is the perfect fit for the team and he will lead them to the playoffs next season and in the future as well. So I'm glad he got that contract extension. He, he deserved it. And great times are ahead for the Steelers. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Please do me a big favor and subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. Just press that subscribe button below this video. If you did that, I would greatly appreciate it. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope that you have a blessed, wonderful day.